You know, we reported that those who are in the business of selling marijuana now in places that it's legal have a difficult time doing their banking. So there are some new developments to report in the financial fallout from the legalization of marijuana in Colorado. The Justice and the Treasury Departments are giving banks a roadmap for doing business with pot firms. Many in the banking industry say they're still uneasy about opening accounts for marijuana businesses. To tell us a little bit more about why, Dominic Di Natale, live from our West Coast News room. Hi, Dominic. Hey there, Jamie. Yes, look, banks and financial institutions still feel they're in legal limbo despite these guidelines coming out on Friday afternoon. Now, the guidelines coming from the Treasury and Justice Department say that banks and financial institutions can accept cash from these pot businesses. But what the banks have to do is make regular reports to the Treasury Department to watch out for suspicious, suspicious, sorry, suspicious activity. Now, the Fed's saying that the banks have got to keep an eye out for operators who are selling pot to miners and sharing revenue of gangs, but there are additional red flags that the banks have actually got to trigger uh, additional reports for. This is what they are. Evidence that a customer is using a marijuana business to launder other money, criminal records of people involved in the business, and, well, businesses unrelated to pot depositing cash that smells like marijuana, which, of course, would be a bit of a giveaway, wouldn't it? Now, the guidelines have finally been welcomed by the marijuana industry because because they've been very concerned about safety because it's mostly a cash only business. Listen. What's important to me is that the marijuana industry is required to pay taxes. We pay a significant amount of taxes into the, into the government, the state government, the, the federal government. And I think that if we're obligated to do that, we should at least have the luxury of a bank account. So they're feeling somewhat placated at the moment, Jamie, but you've got to remember the drug is illegal under federal law. There are 18 states that do allow it for medical purposes. And, of course, Colorado and Washington, well, they allow it for recreational use. But the banking industry is left by these guidelines with sort of ethical and really compliance uh, complications here. Industry's not welcoming, saying the guidance or regulation they now have really doesn't alter the, uh, the underlying challenges of the banks. In a statement from the American Bankers Association, Chief Frank Keating explained it like like this. Possession or distribution of marijuana violates federal law, and banks that provide support for those activities face the risk of prosecution and assorted sanctions. Now, one federal official says there is no safe haven for banks under these guidelines, but they are saying that if they do follow these guidelines, then they're unlikely to face prosecution. And the banks are saying, well, what does that mean? We need to comply, and what they want is hard legislation, not these loose guidelines. Jamie? All right, understood. Thank you so much, Dominic.